The first thing you need to do is to open the Google Authenticator app and you want to unlock it using your iPhone passcode or Face ID. And once you've done this, you should see all of your Authenticator codes. Now to transfer these codes to the Passwords app, we need to click on the hamburger icon in the top left hand corner. And from here, you want to click on Transfer Account. From here, you want to click on Export Account. And then you need to authenticate again using your passcode or Face ID. And then you want to manually select which accounts you want to transfer out of Google Authenticator. For this example, I'm going to transfer all of my accounts. Once you're ready, you want to click on Next in the bottom right hand corner. And here you get a QR code. In this example, I've got two because of the number of accounts I want to transfer out. Because we need to scan these QR codes on our current iPhone within the Passwords app, we need to find a way to store these QR codes externally so they can be scanned. You can do this by using another phone or device to take a picture of the QR codes and then using your current iPhone to scan the QR codes from that other phone or device. Another option would be to take a screenshot of these QR codes and print them, so you can use your current phone to scan the printed QR codes. For this example, I'm going to take a screenshot of them and then I'm going to airdrop these images to my Mac so I can scan them from the Mac later. So once you've got a copy of your QR codes, you want to click on next in the bottom right hand corner and you can choose whether to remove your exported accounts right now or you can keep the exported accounts and delete them later on if you wish to do so. So I'm going to select that option and click on finish. Once we've done this, we can now exit out of the Google Authenticator and now I'm going to airdrop these images to my Mac. To import our new codes into the Passwords app, we first need to open the application and then we need to unlock it with Face ID or using our iPhone passcode. Once we've done this, you want to click on the Codes option and from here you want to click on the plus button in the bottom right hand corner. Once you've done this, you want to click on Scan QR Code with Camera. It may ask you for permission to use your camera, so you want to click on Allow and then you want to find the QR codes that you are storing externally. In this case, these are on my Mac screen. So all we need to do is simply scan the QR codes. So that's QR code number one. So for this example, I'm going to click on add to password under the Amazon QR code. And then you want to add it to your Amazon password that is currently on the Passwords app. However, if you don't have an Amazon password, you want to click on the plus button in the top right hand corner. And then you want to create a new Amazon password to store in the Passwords app. So once we've entered the password label, username and the password itself, you want to click on save in the top right hand corner. And now that QR code has been successfully added to our Passwords app and it's now attached to a password that we use to autofill the next time we sign into that service. Just bear in mind if you have multiple QR codes, you will need to repeat the same process with the second QR code. And don't forget to delete the codes from Google Authenticator for security reasons.